both sides. I'm measuring the long side. One, two, three, four. Eight. Once you have all four sides marked correctly, you want to line up those the marks. Line it up with that mark, and you can still see it. And that one. Make sure you can still see the line. And drag your pencil across gently. Line up both marks. Hold your ruler down firmly else it's going to move, and gently drag your pencil down. Have the pencil resting against the ruler the whole time, but perpendicular. In other words, it's kind of standing up. Don't tuck your ruler, excuse me, don't tuck your pencil under your ruler. Don't try it like this, it's going to get, it's going to end up underneath your ruler and you're going to end up with a crooked line. Every time. Keep your fingers on your ruler spread apart so that you have even weight distribution. Line up my dots. Nice smooth line. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine one inch boxes, which means nine inches across. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve inches long ways. Okay, so it's twelve inches and that's nine inches. This will be a little bit different. You're doing half inches for this one, and you're enlarging the picture. So in case you haven't already done this, you want to do the same exact thing for all four sides, only you're doing half inches. So when you measure any one of these four sides, instead of doing just one, two, three, four, five, you're also doing the ones in between, so half marks. If they're off, like this one, and clearly you've made a mistake. That happens, you can see that I've made that mistake the first time I did it. It's fine, just erase it, do it again. That's it, and then you do the exact same thing. Line up your dots, line up your little marks, tick marks, and gently drag your pencil down. Line up those tick marks. don't want it to be. So please take care of your rulers. This is how it happens. We end up throwing them around or tapping them. They end up on the floor and they end up nicked. And that's why we have um, some bumpy lines. So now I have, um, instead of it being nine boxes across, it's eight boxes across. And same thing on the side. We've got, we had six inches, multiply it by two, and you end up with 12 boxes. That this one has eight boxes, and this one has nine. That just means you're not gonna use this part right here. That's all that means. You're not going to use one of these two sides. That's all. So when I started, um, because I had this extra line, row of boxes, I just put numbers so I could find it a little bit more easy. So one, two, three, four. 
so I can kind of find my boxes a little bit easier. Okay. So I'm just going box to box, and I like to trace with my fingernail. You can always use a viewfinder, but I like to trace with my left hand and draw with my right. Again, if you're right-handed, or excuse me, left-handed, you just switch. Draw with your right, left hand and trace with your right hand, okay? That's my method. You might find one that works for you. I've told some people what helps is by seeing where, where lines intersect with the straight line. So I know that the top of her sleeve, right here, starts in this box, and it curves out, comes down. She's got another little line right here that starts and exits the corner right there. And it ends right there at the edge of that corner, right there. And we're just looking at the one box at a time. We're not worried about the whole picture, we're just focused right here. Okay, I've got that one. And I'm gonna work on her elbow. So she's got this curve out, kinda goes in the middle of the box, comes out the middle, goes back in. The elbow goes all the way out to the side of this box, comes down, around, and out of the diagonal. We have her hand. I'm just going to kind of make a little indication of where her hand's going to go. Right there. Just so I know I'm saving that spot for her hand. Okay. The curve of her sleeve is right here. She's got a little wrinkle. Or a little lump. So I can kind of compare, okay, what do I need to change to match it as close as possible. We have her finger bend right where that line is. And that line comes down. Her finger, her other finger comes out and down and curves. Out, down, curve. You'll hear me talking to myself. Her other finger just makes a little curve, a little way in. And her little pinky is barely there, but it is. It does a little bit of a, and it matches up perfectly. If you're lucky, and you've done it right the whole way, it'll match up perfectly. It's really cool to see. Hmm. Where to go do next? Let's do this part. Let's do this nice long line right here this is a nice easy line. We're gonna start, we know where it starts. It starts right here at her fingertips. It starts right here at the upper portion of this box, right here. That's where we are in this box. I'm gonna get a viewfinder. Okay, so we need a quick little mini viewfinder, smaller than what we usually use because these are smaller boxes. I made it a little bit wider so it doesn't look really good, but that way I can see my box. So you can see exactly where this mark is in this upper box, in this box right here. So right about, maybe right here. Right there. Okay, so we've got a curve that comes out at the very tippy top, comes around. So I think I'm, I think I'm a little too out. Around and out again. So always use light marks, y'all these because if you make a mistake or you want to fix something it's much easier to erase a light line than a dark line. We have this part right here that comes out, this part that comes out. If it doesn't help you to use a viewfinder don't use it. You'll just find it to be helpful for some people. It comes out of the pinky, goes out the very uh, almost to the middle of this box right here and they meet right there. Oh, we've got this beautiful line. It goes down, down, through this box. It's fun doing these long lines because they're pretty, pretty simple. To the next box. Make sure that we're both on night. Oh, you can't see me anymore. Okay. Out towards the middle of this box. 
Okay, out, keep going. We're, toward, we're starting to curve out. And we start to make this little bell shape at the end. A little corner goes back in. We have this little one right here. Down in this box. So this is when I'd like to see all of it because I can see where it goes in one box and out the other. And we really do want to see that. So if you're good and you kind of get it and you feel comfortable with it, get rid of the viewfinder so you can kind of follow along with your left hand or you know whatever, your less dominant hand. I'm still making really accurate lines. I'm trying my best to make these as accurate as possible. So every couple, I don't know, maybe three or four boxes, if I'm going a little faster like this, I'm going to double check and make sure that I'm all lined up. So this is the, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six box over. Six box. Yep, that's right. Okay, this curves out. Oh, okay, so see, we all make mistakes. This is actually very curved right here. Very curved, goes up into this corner. We've got a little upward swing right there. Okay, we've got another curved little bell shape. And then it goes up. The middle of that box. Up, up, up. Okay, boxes were on row eight. We're here. We're here. We're right. We're in the right spot. Start going in towards that corner. Just like connect the dots. That's the way I like to think about it. And then it goes in some more. And look, we're almost done with this whole entire skirt. Up here is where it's going to get more complicated. The more lines you have, the more complicated it gets, of course but you can see where I have the basic outline of Princess Peach, and now I have to go in and do all the finishing details. One, you have to measure all four sides of your picture, your paper, whatever it is that you're trying to get just right, you have to measure all four sides every single time. Hold, ruler, still, Okay, keep, pencil, loose or gentle, a gentle loose line. Start at zero. This is very important. Start at zero. Okay, remember on your ruler, you have a little zero. You have to line that up with the edge of your paper every single time. Don't try to measure it from here. Don't try to measure it from there. You have to line it up with zero. Every time. Every single time. And if you move, you just put it right back where it was and you'll find your spot again. That's a starting point. Keep your lines light. Because you will have to erase it in the future. Any piece of paper, you're nine inches by 12, one inch boxes. Okay, for your smaller one that has your cartoon person in it, okay, these are, um, it's a six by four, and those are half inch boxes. And remember, you're going to have one extra row right here that you won't need. You can put your numbers on it, like on mine. One box at a time so that you're being accurate follow the lines copy the lines from the, on the original to over here on the big one okay follow the lines follow with your left hand if you're right-handed or follow with your right handed uh, right hand if you're left-handed do the same thing follow with this helps you practice dexterity if you're left if your non-dominant hand's not very strong 
Okay, I made a smaller one. Um, you can make your own. You can just kind of eyeball it if you wanted to. I measured it, but then I realized I like, I like having a little extra space around so I can see my box. So I can see that pencil box all the way and I can see where that line enters and exits. You can use this one too. You just, you're getting a lot more, you're getting four boxes instead of just one box. But this is what you need to remember for this project um, if you want it to turn out accurately. So we're looking for accurate. It can be fun after a while. You don't have to think super hard all the time. But it takes concentration. But you don't have to overthink it 100% of the time. Once you get through all the gritting and you're not in a super difficult area, it gets to be pretty easy. It gets to be easier.